Hello, Breland. How you doing, man? What's going on? Pleasure, real pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Congrats on everything. You're one of the most exciting artists that's come around in a long time. It's, it's fun just to be sitting here looking at you. So congrats on all that. Dude, it's exciting to be in this position and to have some of these things happening. It's been crazy. If you were to talk to me last August and said, hey, this time next year, you're going to have a gold single as an artist. You're going to have collaborations with Sam Hunt and Keith Urban, and you're going to have your own radio show on Apple Music. I would have said, nah, man, that's, that's crazy talk. It's crazy. So yeah, it's been it's been a great year. You say that, but you obviously had the drive and the talent to get to this place. So this must have been in the works. You must have known this could be possible. I knew I knew that things were were possible, but also like you know, when you tell people about what some of your dreams and ideas are, if they don't see it themselves, like I don't know, for several years as a songwriter. Uh, in Atlanta, I would tell people that I kind of would at some point maybe be interested in dropping some music myself. And everyone was like, no, nah, it's not for you. You're, you're a writer. You write songs. And I was like, you know, I feel like I could maybe perform them too. And they're like, nope. And the debut single went gold. So it's like, you do have to, you know, you have to stop listening to people to be able to understand what it is that you are actually capable of because they don't know what you're capable of because you, you know, you have to sometimes just show them before they can see it now they get it but you know that was the biggest mental hurdle for myself is just being able to understand what it was that i actually wanted to do and then just deciding to do it talk about your ability to to blend genres everyone makes a big deal out of that but you have to be so talented in every one of these to pull this off like you've been doing and i'm sure we've all the tip of the iceberg of what you can do i think the yeah. the toughest exactly. thing is um just being i guess like conversant enough in each of the different genres that you're trying to blend to be able to make a good enough song that authentically plays with enough of the elements that the fusion makes sense because you can't have like an okay pop idea and an okay R&B idea and an okay country idea and then it's going to come together to make a great song it doesn't work that way you have to have great ideas from all of these different sounds and I you know bring them together to make a great song and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't not every you know it's kind of like cooking you know you can you can have a whole spice rack and play around with a bunch of different things but you know, depending on how the flavors mix, it might be a really good dish or it might not be a good dish. And so a lot of it is just the experimentation and being willing to to fail sometimes and, and knowing that if I were to stop trying to push the envelope, I would never have come up with any of the stuff I've come up with yet. So I, I just kind of try to keep it keep it going and keep playing with different sounds. And how's that all gonna play into your show? In terms of that, that yeah. plays into my show because all of these, the genre bending thing, I've come up with a name for it. I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm just now revealing this to people today. It's called cross country. And cross country is the, the fusion of country at its core with all of the other genres of music that we know and love. And so there's a million different ways that it could sound. It could be country and blues, it could be country and R&B, it could be country and pop, it could be country and hip hop, it could be country and dance, it could be country and rock, it could be country and, 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 and like reggae. There's literally so many different ways that you can mix country into all of the other genres that, that people listen to and are popular right now. And so my biggest thing is just literally seeing what that sounds like first and foremost, and then seeing what cross country has the potential to do culturally in terms of uniting people that might not normally be in the same space or be listening to the same kind of music because music to me has always been the universal language. It's kind of like with like sports. There might be people who I disagree with politically, morally, spiritually, what have you. But if I'm an Eagles fan, which I am, and they're an Eagles fan, then we're gonna be at the game and we're gonna be brothers in that moment. And I think music has the same power to heal certain divisions. And when you have music that crosses kind of cultural and genre lines, I think the thing that can happen on the other side of that is really powerful. And so I'm trying to create a space and a platform here on this show where I can highlight some of the music that I think is doing that, have conversations with some of the people that I think are doing that and have the potential to do that. Uh, and all of the people that I think help innovate and color country and cross country in really unique and profound ways. 
So it's really about the music first and foremost, but but as a bigger conversation, it's obviously going to touch on a lot of other things that I think the music has the potential to to promote and uh, you know hopefully shift in different ways. And especially important and powerful this year with all the protests with Black Lives Matter, with what everyone's dealing with, with an election coming up. How of great course, a voice right now. Yeah, man. I think I think as one of the few black voices in country music, and as someone who has uh, you know a lot of education on on racial matters and racial issues i think i think that i'm in a really good position to have these conversations with a lot of people that are my peers a lot of people that that i respect musically and i just want to see where they're at and and see how we can help make the music more inclusive and how we can make sure that the that the music is always moving forward and that we don't get stuck in in any unnecessary boxes i think the way that we market country music, the types of people that we have involved in the creation process of country music, all of that stuff matters. And and I know that representation is really important. And so for me to be able to be in this space will hopefully help drive a lot of that forward. Very good. And lastly, just how excited are you about what's next? Because I'm excited as, as to what you're going to be probably doing over the coming months or year. I know it just seemed the beginning. What can you tell us about what we can look forward to? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a bit of a wild card. I think I'm one of the few people that has two very distinct sides of my personality and that I can be very fun and silly and I can also be very real and kind of have a, you know, an intensity about what I do and when you combine that, you have a show that has the potential to be not only entertaining and engaging and and fun, but it also has the potential to to talk about real things. And so each episode, you'll kind of get taken on a journey. I have a bunch of really cool guests planned, uh, a lot of people that I've collaborated with on music and am collaborating with on music, as well as just some people who I haven't worked with musically, but whose perspectives I value and who I think could, could add some really cool insight on, on how the music is made and why it matters. Uh, and so I think over the next, over the next six months and, and to a year, people will definitely have a better understanding of what cross country is and why I think it's the future of, of country music and music in general. And uh, you never really know what to expect, but it's, it's gonna be a good time for sure. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.